Just behind me is the house where South Haven police showed up Sunday night just before midnight. This is 5881 Surrey. But WREG investigators obtained this police report and also a warrant. It is for Samuel Pierman. He is the man police were looking for after a domestic fight with his girlfriend. And the address on this warrant, 5878 Surrey. And take a look. It is actually right here across the street right across the street from that address. Two different addresses though, two different homes, and one deadly mistake. When South Haven police arrived at 5881 Surrey, it appears it was just the start of a night of problems. This is the police report from the Tate County Sheriff's Department. In it, Samuel Pierman's girlfriend tells officers Pierman attacked her at a Sitco gas station in Independence, Mississippi saying he grabbed her around the throat with his hands and started choking her. She gave Pierman's address, 5878 Surrey Lane. This warrant from Tate County shows that address, 5878 Surrey. The deputy that handled the initial complaint here uh, is the one that called directly to South Haven Police Department. Okay. Uh, my understanding, the information he gave is the same information that we have contained on all the, the reports, uh, you know, for the address. Uh, I do know that the two addresses are very similar. But when police came to Surrey Lane Sunday night, they ended up not at this house where Pierman's girlfriend says he lived. They went across the street to 5881 Surrey, where Ishmael Lopez was inside with his wife. They apparently never found out they were at the wrong address. Lopez's family says when he went to the door, police say he had a gun and started shooting. His family says he did not. But one thing for sure, Ismael Lopez died that night, and he was not who police were looking for. They're trigger happy, and they killed an innocent man, and they did not get their facts straight before they barged in on him. And it's just very overwhelming that an innocent man was killed.